Hello, my name is Gertrude, and I'm a developer advocate at Click. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to migrate ClickSense applications from ClickSense Enterprise Client Manage to Click Cloud. Let's get started. Start by going to our developer portal, click.dev, navigate to manage, and on the sidebar, go to migrate, and then the tutorial migrate apps and app objects from ClickSense Enterprise Client Manage to Click Cloud, as it is the basis for this video. As you can see, it has a number of steps, but for this video, I will focus on the first two steps. And if you want to see more, just let us know in the comments below, and I'll be able to provide a video with the other two, with the other four steps. In order for you to begin your migration, there are a number of prerequisites needed. As a start, you will need an updated version of Click CLI. And so I will start by checking my version. You use the command click version. I have the updated version and now I can go on with the other prerequisites. The second thing you need is a Click CLI context for client managed. If you haven't set this up, you can use this tutorial. Please follow it diligently as it is the basis for your migration. Another prerequisite is a Click CLI context for Click Cloud. As well, if you haven't previously done this, follow this tutorial in order to do that. In order to see that I have all contexts set up, I use the command click context ls and I have the two contexts set up. That is one for client managed and one for click cloud. For the migration, you will use click CLI in PowerShell to export ClickSense apps from ClickSense Enterprise Client Managed to click cloud. And that is why I am using the context that is the Windows context. You will also need a ClickSense Enterprise Client Managed app, and this is one that I just got from our demo site. If you do not have one, you can also download an app from this site. And now we can begin with the setup. To start with, I will just define the context that is one for client managed and another one for click cloud using the commands provided in this tutorial as I am just copying and pasting those and setting in the details that I have preset. You will then need to specify the app to export and the export path which I will be doing now. I first start by listing the apps that I have access to in order for me to get the app ID. And I will paste it in there as well as specify the export path. I will now specify the spaces to import and publish the app to. I have already created the managed space. As for the target managed space, I will not use that in this tutorial, but if you need me to do the further steps, that's when that will come into use. I'm already using this context but I just want to follow the tutorial. Now I will export the app with all private content and make sure to use the flag export scope or
I will paste that in. The export part is now complete and it's now time to do the import part. You start by specifying that you use the click cloud context. And then import the app to click cloud into a shared space, which I have previously created. And I just start by listing the spaces that I have access to in order for me to have the space ID. I will paste that in. To confirm that I have successfully imported the app into Click Cloud, I will just go into my tenant and there it is, it's in a managed space and it's the same app that was in ClickSense Enterprise Client Managed, so that's good. That's it for this video. If you would like to see the rest of the tutorial in video format, just let us know in the comments and I will be happy to do so as I earlier mentioned.